Bolt Nation, this is Laser Bolt coming at you with another tech review video. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing the Logitech G512 Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. And boy, do I got to tell you, when I heard that this keyboard was coming out, I got super excited because it comes with a brand new Romer G Linear uh, Switch that I can't wait to share with you guys exactly what this switch will do and how excited you should be regarding this switch. But now let's take a view at the aesthetics of the keyboard. The one thing I do like about about this keyboard is that it is pleasing to the eye whether you're a hardcore gamer or whether you're just a casual gamer and want to have a gaming keyboard that's not too overwhelming and that's not too much of an eyesore this keyboard will look good not only in your home as a gaming setup but it will also look very nice in an office in your work environment because the nice design and the subtleness of this keyboard makes it a perfect keyboard not only for home but also for the office what I like about the keyboard the most is it's nice aluminum alloy finish that it has on the top now granted the keyboard is made out of plastic but the top portion gives it a nice finish and design one of the cool additions of the keyboard is that it comes with a USB pass-through so you'll be able to have this at your disposal so you don't have to go in back of your PC and tinker around and trying to find out where to plug a USB if you need to plug in your phone or any other device that you want to just rapidly charge through you'll be able to use the USB 2.0 to get that out of the way they also went ahead and added six rubber stamps on the bottom to avoid any sort of swivel or any sort of rapid movement of the keyboard so it's going to keep it nice and sturdy on your desk one thing that i wish every other keyboard would actually adopt this and i got to give big props to logitech and that is giving you the cable chambers now the cable chambers are chambers that you're able to use on the keyboard to avoid tangling or having the you know the, the wire run above your keyboard or on the side you actually have two chambers you have one that's coming straight down and you have the one that has the little u shape in case you want to you know run your mouse around the keyboard so it won't be tangling up i thought that was a very neat addition and i wish a lot of more keywords would actually adopt this motto now let's talk about one of the main reasons why you're actually looking at this keyboard and that of course it's its switches or its keystrokes now we're going to be talking about this because the actual keyboard comes with three different variants you have the romer g tactical the romer g lanyard and you also have the gx blue which is an iconic design provided for both tactical and clicky feedback now what is the biggest difference out of all of them so the romer g and the romer tactical these are really really good and the ones i would highly recommend the reason why is because these actual switches will give you a 1.5 millimeter second of actual distance making them 25 percent faster than any other standard switch now in order for me to relay that to you guys if you guys don't know exactly what i'm meaning is every time you click on a keyboard they're they kind of measured how long it takes for your click to actually go through your pc or for you to register how long does it take usually a standard switch will run about two millimeter seconds now for example this one goes to 1.5 milliseconds this is by far the fastest switch currently available in the market as of right now so if you're looking for something precise to help you if you're playing fortnite if you're playing pub G or you're playing any other sort of game this keyboard will give you that precise as long as you pick up the Romer G or if you pick up the Romer Linear one now these will give you that precise tap on your keystroke and not only that but they will uh, reduce the amount of noise that key is making why is this important well if you're playing Fortnite and you're streaming or you're recording a video and you're hitting your keys you're going to want to avoid as much feedback from your keyboard as you possibly can but you still want to have a really good switch when using a keyboard this is what makes this key Keyboard nice because not only is it going to reduce the amount of click you have but it's also going to go ahead and give you that fast response time now there is another model which is the GX blue which is the one I am currently reviewing this one comes with a more of a mechanical field you're going to be able to hear the actual sound of the keyboard like if you're using a mechanical keyboard and to prove that to you guys I'm going to let you guys hear what it sounds like As you guys notice right there, you're able to hear the mechanical keyboard at work. You're also able to hear that feedback coming out just because these are the blue variants. Now, I've asked Logitech to actually send me some other variants of the Logitech, so hopefully they do. I will also review those for you guys and give you guys the detailed information on the difference between the keyboards. Now, of course, the keyboard does come with additional gaming features. For example, it comes with the one that I love, which is the one that avoids you from pressing the Windows key by mistake. So if you press FN, which is the function key, plus 
plus F8, you will be able to turn on and avoid you having to worry about pressing that Windows key and, you know, it costing you the game or costing you a victory. It also comes with a 26 key rollover that's kind of mostly built for the anti-ghosting. What this will allow you to do, it's you're going to be able to like auto-tune it where it gives you reliable control when multiple game commands are given simultaneously. So you'll be able to enjoy that as well. It also comes with programmable macros, which everybody should definitely be stoked about because macros are the new thing, especially with games like Fortnite. You're definitely going to want to make sure you have your macros down to a science. That it also comes with the multimedia uh, keys. Now, one thing I really wish that keyboards would act, focus mostly on is avoid using the uh, function key and letting you tap like F9, F10, F, you know, 11, F12 to manage your multimedia. I would actually like to see like a little bit of an onboard switch. It just makes your life that much easier. And with the way things are going nowadays, you're always listening to music when you're playing. So it's nice to have a key instead of having to press that FN key. But granted, the keyboard does come with a few buttons, but you're going to have to play, press that function key, unfortunately, to actually be able to activate those. Now, remember, you're always going to be able to adjust these macros by using the LGS, which is a software built in, which is the gaming software for the keyboard, which will allow you to input those macros. And it gives you a different array that you're able to tap into the keyboard, which we're going to be talking about the RGB lighting. And of course, what gaming keyboard wouldn't be complete with its RGB lighting effects? And this keyboard has an extensive array of lighting effects. I'm going to be playing as we speak. Now, the cool thing about the lighting effects, you're able to pick from all sorts of different variants if you want the one that you touch and it does the ripple effect if you want the ambient one if you want the pulsating one if you want the rainbow one one thing that i do like about the keyboard is that it also comes with the ability to program it based on the game you're playing so if you're playing fortnite it'll be able to be programmed to that if you're playing the division or if you're playing PUBG, any other game that you're playing that's available within the software the keyboard will respond with that key lighting which is definitely a plus always in my book when keyboards actually add this feature now to talk about the pros and the cons of the product and give you my final verdict if this actually meets the laser bolts approval the way i go ahead and give a product the laser bolts approval is based on the amount of money the product is worth and if it's worth you actually investing that amount so this keyboard in particular retails for 99.99 which is a hundred dollars now there's a lot of pros in this keyboard not only does it come with the rgb lighting it comes with the different variants of the switches that you're able to pick and having that switch which is the fastest switch currently right now with the 1.5 millimeter second response response time is definitely a plus in my book especially if you're going to be doing a lot of gaming not only that but it also comes with the software that you're able to you know put macros into it and give you that nice functionality of the keyboard plus the nice subtle look and the nice finish on the keyboard is definitely a plus for me now the only con and knockoff i would have to give this keyboard is actually two one is the weird looking thing that's behind the keyboard that's kind of like to you know put something with a little screw we don't know what that's for like i i have no idea what that's for maybe it's for some sort of new thing that's coming via logitech but as of right now we don't know what that's for so it's kind of gives you that sore eye thing like you're like wondering what is this for and the number two con that i would have to give the keyboard is that they didn't include any multimedia functions that i definitely think any other keyboard should definitely have because these are going to be so helpful especially if you're listening to a lot of music but those would be the only cons that could be easily overlooked Overall, in general, guys, this keyboard retails for $9.99, and it's definitely a really good keyboard to have, especially just because of the switches. So to round it all off, guys, this definitely meets the laser bolts approval, and I highly recommend this product for you guys, especially if you guys are into gaming. Let me know in the comment section down below if you are looking to get a new keyboard. If you are and have any questions regarding this keyboard, drop them in the comment section down below. I'll be more than happy to answer those questions for you guys. Don't forget, guys, for all things gaming related, Make sure you guys keep it locked in this channel and I will catch you guys on the next video.